Hi everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In. I hope you are doing great this Saturday. It's a beautiful day in Halifax. We had some wonderful weather today and I had the opportunity to spend time outside greeting people at the testing site. And I did in fact get a bit of a burn. So don't forget if you're out there, your sunscreen, because I did. Um, yes, I know, mom, sorry. So anyway, that won't happen tomorrow. I am gonna be indoors volunteering tomorrow. So a couple of birthdays, it is Jess Palmer's birthday and I haven't seen Jess for years. We worked together at FAC. I'm pretty sure Jess, the last time I saw you was the time that on Remembrance Day when I was late or not late, my flight was five, four or five hours late and I ended up hanging out with you for a bit and got to go to the Remembrance Day, Remembrance Day ceremony before I went to Calgary. That wasn't yesterday. So I hope you're having a great birthday. And it is Jada's birthday and she's seven years old today. And that is my friend Mena's daughter. So I hope she had a good birthday. I know they were planning a little bit of a family celebration, but of course they weren't able to do bigger things because of COVID. So uh, they would have scaled down those celebrations. But nonetheless, I hope that Jada had a great day. Um, I want to send out a big shout out to my cousin Sarah today in Massachusetts. She graduated with her Bachelor of Science in Biology from Fitchburg State University. So congratulations, Sarah. It's just a little windy here, so I want to make sure it doesn't, uh, doesn't go flying. I think today was my 11th test and negative again. So great. My uh, new strategy, not new, but for the last few weeks, I just get tested once a week when I'm at the testing site because I am at home working every day. I completely get all my food delivered now and I see Paul and Anita once a week. So that's, that's my activity. So getting tested once a week is working for me now. If, uh, if I end up um, doing a little bit more out, out, obviously out, I would probably get tested more often. So don't forget to get tested unless you are absolutely staying in completely all the time. It is recommended that you get tested once a week and it may even be multiple times depending on how much you are out. So just keep up with that public health. Um, today is also International Day of Families, which honors the importance of families, both traditional and non-traditional. And I think that's important to mention because a lot of times um, people have said to me before, um, oh, you don't have a family. And I think people associate families with children, which of course, children are huge parts of our family. But those of us that don't have children still have family. <laughs> and I know most people know that, but, I, but believe it or not, that people have said that to me before. So I think it's important to point out that there are many with different ways to celebrate family. Family. A lot of us too may have chosen family that we've whether we don't have a good relationship with our family or we do have a good relationship with our family and we've just decided to add extra people. I have a wonderful relationship with my family. I have two amazing brothers, but I decided to get an extra sibling. I <laughs> I chose my sister Anne to be my sibling. So, you know, family is a very important part of our lives and just this is a day to celebrate families. So I wanted to give that shout out. Did I have anything else? Oh my God, of course I did. How could I have forgotten? So last night I saw Paul and Anita and I did post this on Instagram and Facebook and actually Twitter as well. I, we ordered from Afrit restaurant last night and I love to support Afrit because the food is delicious, Mediterranean food. Um, the owner though, um, Andrew El Khoury is from Cape Breton. So I love that, love to support my capers as you know. And a lot of you would know that Andrew was on MasterChef Canada. Unfortunately, he made it fairly close, but he's no longer in the running. But um, all the love, Andrew, I wasn't watching um, MasterChef Canada, but I can tell you we ordered the Mediterranean plate last night and there were three of us and we were absolutely stuffed. And I came home, I still haven't finished what I had. I still came home with leftovers and Paul and Anita had leftovers. For, so the three of us still had leftovers the next day. It was a delicious plate of food. My God, it was delicious. So many good flavors. We also had a delicious carrot cake for dessert. As you know, I'm not really a big dessert person. Usually I like more savory, salty things, but I like carrot cake and this carrot cake was absolutely delicious. Had some last night. I had a little for breakfast <laughs> this morning and I still have more. So it was not a small piece of carrot cake. So all the love, all the love to Afrit. I will be promoting all of the wonderful restaurants that I am partaking in during lockdown. 
and uh, I watched Bruce and Jay today as well. Um, haven't ordered from Nelly's yet. I do really want to, and I the burger that they had that they were going to have for Burger Week looks absolutely amazing. It's a matzo burger with um, marinara sauce. It looks really good. So I'm hoping to check that out. I think I'll leave it there. I'm gonna have a catch up with a few friends tonight and hoping maybe I will get a chance to catch up with Anne a little later because we've been missing each other um, this week. So take good care of yourselves, take good care of others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.